Chicago Children's Theater Stay at Home Class presents an unabridged audio recording of The Legend of the Life Giving Jewel. Prologue Once there was a tiny planet. On that tiny planet, there was a life giving jewel. The tiny people were just about to start a tea party. The jewel was in a glass box. Right above the glass box, the roof cracked. After the roof broke, the glass box broke as well. Then the evil king came in from the roof. He grabbed the jewel from the floor and stole it. Scene one, the evil king's birthday party. I hope you're having a lovely time, your evil majesty. Nope. (laughs) I I was wondering, since you're enjoying our opera birthday party so much, maybe you could give me the life-giving jewel? No, and no matter how many parties you throw, opera or not, I will not give it back. Please? There must be something I can give you. What do you want? I want my bird. A bird? You have a pet? I didn't know that. Yes, I have a pet. Everyone knows that. Yes, of course. Um, where is she? It's a he. Where is he? He's dead. Oh, uh, oh my. You know that the king won't give him back. I am the king. He's just the emperor of the underworld. Yes, yes, yes. It doesn't really matter. Excuse me? I mean, emperor and king basically mean the same thing. Whatever, I get to your point. Of course, but the Emperor of the Underworld, he's dangerous. If you can't get me my bird, I will never give back the jewel. Duchess, your majesty, nice to see you. Who are you? And why is there a snake around your neck? I'm sure you've heard of me, the warrior. I'm here to retrieve the jewel. Well, you won't get it. Not unless you get me my bird. His dead bird. Fine. (laughs) <laughs> I have offered the jewel to many before, but never has someone agreed to going to the underworld. Yes, you don't understand. The emperor of the underworld is too powerful. He has magic. Many have suffered under his rule. Don't you see? It's too risky. Don't underestimate me, Duchess. I know what I'm up against. Scene 2, The Warrior's Journey The warrior did not wear any boots. It was snowing in the jungle. The brave warrior could not find food, but she was hopeful to find food at supper. All she found in the jungle was non-edible berries and a lemon. So she sucked on the lemon and felt full enough for the rest of her journey. The warrior wished she had some company. She wished she had packed an audiobook. Her legs were tired. The warrior wished there were more things to see other than barren oak trees, fruitless bushes, and ashes from the fire the other night. The only colors were gray and black. Suddenly, she heard a sound coming from her rucksack. Scene 3, Allies. Oh, I'm so tired and the ground is so hard. I hope I can sleep. What was that? It's coming from my rucksack. If I could creep up nice and quiet. Ah! <gasps> You're tiny. You must be from the tiny planet. I am. What were you doing in my stuff? I'm a spy from the tiny planet. I was sent to steal back the jewel of life. I was supposed to steal it from the king himself, but I heard of your mission and went to help you. These are my friends, the cat with wings and the air-swimming goldfish. Hi. Hi. You're so cute. It's true. We are. We want to help you succeed on your journey and get back the life-giving jewel, but we don't want you to give it to the Duchess. Why not? The people of the tiny planet are suffering without the jewel. Before, our orchids were full of delicious ripe fruit, our fields green with crops, our bellies full of food. When the king took the jewel from the glass box, it all shriveled up. Our planet needs the jewel to live. Promise me you won't give the jewel to the Duchess. Please. Please. 
All right, I promise not to give the jewel to the Duchess. Now, let's all go to sleep, so tomorrow morning we're awake and ready to take on the Emperor of the Underworld. Anything for the tiny planet. We're not afraid. Then get some rest. You're going to need the energy where we're going. Scene 4, The Emperor of the Underworld. See you next time on the Fiery Abyss of Doom. No, this show's the worst. Hello, hello, and welcome back to Animals of the Underworld. Today we are going to be watching Drumroll, please. Looks interesting. The Common Housefly. No! Sports, sports, sports. There are no sports in the Underworld. This TV is the worst. The one, the only, chef in the entire Underworld, Larry. Yes, this should be here. Tell me, Larry, why is it you are here in the underworld? Oh, you see, when I was alive, I made this cake. This show seems authentic. So I tried it, but it turns out I forgot to bake it. Brilliant. Get out your bowl. Here are the ingredients you'll need. Seriously, where are the good shows? We're here. Yes, we need to find the bird. <gasps> there. It is I, the warrior. And me, the spy. And me, the cat with wings. And me, the air swimming goldfish. I'm sorry, I'm confused. We're here for the bird. Okay, fine, you can have it if you get me. After you beat an egg, you'll need a shark tooth. Get me a shark tooth. Shark tooth? Come on, how many things do we have to get on this journey? If we don't get a break, my wings will fall off. Yes, maybe you should reconsider this. I don't reconsider anything, except for maybe buying this TV. Isn't there anything else we could do? Uh, how's this? You get me a shark tooth or this bird birds? Um, I don't think that will work. Here, this is a shark's tooth for my ocean. See? Problem solved. Of course you can't just use any tooth. Oh, great. It has to be a special tooth. Yes? It has to be a giant shark's tooth from the world of the giants. The world of the giants. That's a place? Apparently. Now leave me. I need to be alone with my TV. Hold on, we've never agreed. Silence. If you won't leave, then I'll make you leave. Run! I'll try to put up the flames. And now, a word from our sponsors. have a pet turtle who needs to be warmer? Don't raise your heating bill. Just buy them a... Turtle Man! It's a warm, fuzzy sweater that keeps your lovable pet warm. It's waterproof, too. Wow! Peach's balls are on sale! They're 10% off! Which means they are for free! Peach's balls are balls. Scene 5, A Grizzly Guardian. We made it. The gates of the giant world. Shh, get down behind the bush. Hop, two, three, four. Hop, two, three, four. The giant bear is guarding the gate. We can sneak around him. This way. Guys, guys, I need to sneeze. Hold it! I don't think I... Uh, what was that? Ah! Put me down! Toy! Toy! I am not a toy! <laughs> ah! It's really high up! I don't know how to help you! I have an idea! Hey, bear! Wanna play a game? Games! 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 Put me down, please! Okay! Quick, while he's distracted, climb through the gate. You can fit between the bars. <laughs> we'll be fast. Go. Look at me. Simon says touch your belly. <laughs> Simon says jump up and down. Ah, Simon says stop jumping. Stop jumping. <laughs> Scene six, swallow. 
Wow, look at all this ocean. Yeah, cats hate water. There's nowhere else to go. We're surrounded. We have to swim. Hold my fins and you'll be able to breathe underwater. Ready to jump? One, two, three. This is the worst. Wow, look at all the fish and lights. It's an underwater village. Let's go. Wait a minute. My fish senses are tingling. What does that mean? Shark! Ah! <laughs> Scene 7, on the beach of the giant world. Shark, get out of here! Yes, you're very cute, but you're still bad. Now go! Who is she? She's as tall as a tree! Wearing all gold! Did you see how she treated that shark? Like a puppy. Welcome, travelers. I'm the ruler of the giant world. All these glittering oceans and soft, sandy beaches are mine. It's beautiful. Hey, look at the seashell. It's so big. I could live in it. Better not try. Ah, a giant snail. <laughs> you are so small. Please, your highness. We are seeking a giant shark tooth from the biggest shark in your realm. We need to give it to the emperor of the underworld in exchange for the evil king's ghost bird to trade for the life-giving jewel. My people rely on it. Okay, sure. Really? Uh-huh. You don't run any random objects in exchange? A sacred key or a book of enchanted poetry or five-day lemons? No, I have everything I need, and I'm happy to give you the sharks too. Sharks have 15 rows of teeth, and they break off all the time. Come on, you must be hungry. My friends and I are having a feast in my beachside cave behind a waterfall. Thank you, we're very hungry. Here we are. Hi, everyone. Brought some friends. Mm. <laughs> Look at all the giant food. Giant chicken with giant potatoes. Giant fish with a giant slice of lemon. Giant jello full of giant berries. I'm going for the giant ice cream sundae. Woohoo! Hey, when we're full, we go out to the beach together and watch the moon rise. Feel the sand beneath your feet, the waves of the ocean, the smell of the salty air. Watch the sky turn pink and purple and orange. Let's all breathe in together. <sighs> and out again. <sighs> One more time, breathe in. And out again. Thank you so much, Your Highness, but we really should be getting back now. I understand. I wear the shark tooth around my neck. One second while I break the cord. There you go. Oh no, it's huge. We'll never make it back with that. Come on, giants. We must perform the ritual of strength. Uh, uh, I give my strength to you. Now you're strong enough to lift the two. Thank you. Oh, on my back, I'll fly us back to the gate. Who knew it would be so convenient to have a flying cat? Scene eight, return to the gate. What took you so long? Sorry, I have the tooth. Why did you get the giant bear to fall asleep? I didn't. A regular bear came out of the horse and the giant bear scooped it up like a teddy bear and fell asleep. See, that's what he's holding. That is one confused bear. Let's get out of here. Scene nine, we rode back. The spy and the warrior go back to the underworld. On the way back, they saw a lot of weird things, such as a one-colored rainbow, a book tree, and talking statues. The warrior was glad to have somebody to talk to. The spy and the warrior talked mostly about the life-giving jewel. The spy told the warrior how it was stolen. Finally, they got to the underworld. The warrior and the spy gave the giant shark to, to the emperor of the underworld. The emperor gave them the dead bird. The warrior led the way back to the mansion. The jungle looked the same. It still had ashes on the ground from the fire and not that many things to eat. 
The warrior hoped there was another magic lemon, so they don't have to take an hour to find something to eat. Magic lemons are very easy to find compared to other fruits. Luckily, the spy ate one three days ago, so they went straight to sleep. The next day, they walked and walked until they reached a mountain to rest for a little bit. After a short break, they continued to walk. They did not want to go to sleep and wanted to walk more, but soon they got tired and dozed off. The magical lemon soon wore off the spy, so the spy was very hungry, but luckily they, there were some apples. So she picked an apple and ate it. They continued to walk. Finally, they were at the mansion. Scene 10, Transformation. We're back, we have the bird. Impossible. You journeyed all the way into the underworld? Further than that, meet my friends, a spy from Tiny Planet, the flying cat, and the air swimming goldfish. Hi. Hey. Hi. Give me my bird. Here he is. There you are. Oh, how I miss your beautiful voice, more lovely than any opera. Wait till you hear him, it's, a, it's amazing. It's like he has 10 sets of vocal cords singing at once. Wow. Hear what I mean, perfection. Now it's your turn. Hand over the life-giving jewel. Oh, right. Dig it, brave warrior. You've earned it. Thank you, your majesty. Wow, it's glittering so brightly. Oh, tiny planet owes you our gratitude. I'll take it from here. Sorry, I can't give you the jewel. <gasps> what do you mean you can't? I mean, I can't. You're a liar. I'm not a liar. Then what are you? A friend. The snake around my neck needs the life-giving jewel. Forgive me, my actions were not ill-intended. Hand over the jewel. I'm sorry, I'm giving it to the snake. <laughs> it's a girl? It's the princess! Princess? You don't look like a princess. Excuse me? Yes, I don't recognize you. Tell me, what kingdom do you rule? The tiny planet. Tiny planet? Where's that? That painting over there. You live in a painting? Not a painting. It's hidden. Follow me, warrior, and you two can come too. I'm not going anywhere until you hand over the jewel. I need it for one last thing. Fine, but only because you're royalty. Epilogue. In the end, they all have a party in the tiny world. Everybody was too big except for the spy, the air swimming goldfish, and the cat with wings. Every big person had to have 10 gallons of fruit juice and 1,000 cookies because the food was so little. Everybody loved the party.